Mm. Good morning, y'all. Now, I want to tell you, this is one of the mornings where I have no desire to get up and go to the gym. And when I tell y'all, I want to just lay here. <gasps> and of course, And I'm not going to the gym to wear myself out. I'm just going to the gym like I normally do. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But, see, this is where you have to talk to yourself and say, girl, get up. Get up. Get up. It's only an hour and about 15 to 30 minutes. When you get up, get it done, it's done. Oh my gosh. This is the process, y'all. This is the process where you just have to tell yourself to get up and just do it. Just do it. You got somewhere to go. You got something to do. You got things to accomplish. Just get up. Oh my goodness, just get up, get up, get up, and just do it. So let's get up and let's do it. some of my healthy snacks my go-to snacks to help maintain my health and weight loss uh, this one is cucumbers and beets love those and I just sprinkled a little bit of the uh, Greek seasoning on top of uh, the cucumbers and the next snack that I love is apples and a handful or a palm full of walnuts and I'll sprinkle a little onion powder on them as well and of course, I got my circle bottle and I keep myself hydrated throughout the day. Uh, I drink about six of those circle bottles a day. OK, 
Okay, the next snack, and sometimes I turn this into a meal, is fixing a nice big batch of tuna fish. Of course, I just put all my regular seasonings in there that I prefer. And uh, I just have that uh, once, maybe sometimes twice a day um, with or without a slice of toast. So again, uh, I love tuna fish and so does my granddaughter, Lauren. And uh, I just do uh, about a tablespoon and a half. I've gotten really good about measuring the amounts uh, that I need to eat. So there it is. Tuna fish with a slice of toast. And there's my circle water. <laughs> okay, the next snack and or sometimes meal that I love is a again a slice of wheat bread and a tablespoon of peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, and a grapefruit. So I'm showing you all me toasting my toast. And I just cut my grapefruit, and this is a ruby red grapefruit. Just cut it in half, and I have a half. Then a slice of toast. And a tablespoon of peanut butter. And I just spread it over on my toast. Yum, yum. And this particular morning I had it with coffee. So this was my breakfast that morning. And another snack is I love a half of a banana and again a palm full of almonds. Just plain almonds, no seasoning or anything. Yes, and another go-to snack is a boiled egg, one boiled egg and some kosher petite dill pickles. I absolutely love these. I even sometimes pour some of that pickle juice in a little shot cup and drink it. Okay, y'all, and love another it. favorite go-to snack for me is some fresh clean broccoli and I rinse it off really well and then I just cut some of the bottom parts of them off. Okay, and I just Take a little bit of lime juice. This is a lime. And I squeeze some lime juice on it. And I love this Greek, all purpose Greek seasoning. This is the same seasoning I sprinkle on top of my cucumbers as well. Got it off Amazon, y'all. TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> so I just sprinkle just a little bit. Okay, and then some extra sharp cheddar cheese, and I do just say just a little sliver, just so I can have that. It's almost like eating melted cheese and broccoli, but I'm just cutting me a little small piece, and I just take little small bites as I eat a piece of broccoli. And that's another snack that I love to have. And y'all, here's one of my favorite homemade go-to snacks. It's my version of Raisinets. It's Lady T's chocolate covered raisins. I'll leave the link to this recipe in the description. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.